Hi there, Bob from Insidium here, Top Tip Tuesday, and on today's video, we're going to be uh, creating this nice procedural custom leaf object, and more specifically, I'm going to show you this amazing procedural vein system that we can layer up in Teo Leaf for these realistic vein structures. So, let's get started. In our scene, we have this default Teo leaf object. And before we look at the veins, let's just make this look a little bit more leaf-like. So we're going to go to our geometry options. Let's add six width and 10 length segments. Let's add a layer of subdivisions and we'll make a leaf profile shape by clicking here. And that means we can bring the base down to a tip uh, to a point and the tip down to a point as well cool and we'll add a little bit of um, edge noise here look it deforms the edges of that shape just to make it less uniform then we're going to go to our modifiers we're going to add a fold modifier and just fold that up something like that and then let's add a furling and we'll curl it up but we'll curl it up near the base of our leaf something like that and then we'll add one more furling modifier and this one will curl it back the other way so we get a bit of a kind of an s bit of an s shape going on with our leaf something like that very cool right so now that's looking like a leaf let's go to our main menu tab and we're going to go from geometry to the veins menu which opens up this cool little node layer here so we need the vein down the middle first which is called the mid vein so let's add a mid vein layer there is our mid vein. I'm just going to hit NA to hide the lines. So with our profile spline, we can make it go more pointed towards the tip of our leaf. And we want it to extend down a bit so we get a stem here. It's called the petiole. So to get that, we'll go to the bottom of the settings and we've got a petiole offset. Let's increase that. And that gives us that uh, petiole cool now what's brilliant about this is each layer has its own modifiers so with our mid vein selected we can go to the modifiers tab and we can add first of all let's add a furling petiole so this will just add us a furling layer just for this petiole section that we've just made so if we curl that up look you see it's bending up and then we can change the bias along that petiole for where that curl starts so that's nice and then we can affect our entire vein using a turbulence so let's go to bring in a turbulence layer add a little bit of strength and there you can see that we've just subtly moved that a little uh, to make it look less uniform fantastic right let's get some um actually we'll, we can do as many subsequent layers as we like let's just do one uh, for ease sake so now we've got our mid vein with it selected we can go and bring in a lateral vein layer which brings in these and then the ways in which these are, are kind of structured and distributed is to do with the vein structure and there are four options all kind of real world options in um uh, in real world leaves we've got arcuate pinnate palmate and dichotomous we'll look at dichotomous in a moment but for now let's just keep it on the default pinnate and this enables us to have these lateral veins and if we change this angle look we can have them angled up or down if i bring down this angle twirl down we get a bias so they're not as angled at the tip as they are here so we get a bit of kind of variance uh, variation which is cool we can offset where they come off that um, uh, mid vein um, we can put in angle variation which obviously is always good excellent and so uh, you can add more and more of these layers until you've perfectly matched your reference so now we've got some veins and a leaf let's get some textures on here if we go to our materials tab we can drag in some materials now these materials we've got here are standard materials but you can do this with redshift materials octane materials whatever materials you want let's drag in this leaf material and by default it's assigned to the leaf we can then drag in this mid vein material and let's assign it to the mid vein and then we've got a vein material let's assign that to the veins and there we've uh, been able to um, uh, texture our leaf and, and objects let's go back to our tail leaf main and with our lateral veins this also has its own modifiers list look let's bring in a turbulence and we can add a bit of turbulence strength to kind of distort those uh, mid veins and with the mid veins we can use the profile 
to point them down a little bit as they come towards the edge of the leaf so that's really cool and you can see that as this is um uh, modified with turbulence and furling and whatnot the veins stay perfectly attached to that leaf so that's looking really cool finally let me show you that mode that i said i would in our lateral veins if we change this from pinnate to dichotomous this splits our veins in levels look we've got two um, levels of splitting here so let's just put this angle back up to something like that increase the split count and we start getting this kind of fanning effect of these veins coming across our leaves let's increase the width of those a little and now we get something that looks a little bit like this and if we want to avoid these intersections and to stop them before they intersect we've got a setting for that if we come up to the top of our options in the main tab we have remove intersections let's click on that and then they're not able to go past and they cease once they have intersected very nice indeed so that is how we can use the various different options in Teo leaf for to create realistic vein structures and how we've got control over texturing those as well